All right, I got six minutes to do this, so let's see if we can make it happen. All right, so FRP bypass, newest June security update. Um, that's what we're going to be showing off today. So you can see right here, I am locked out on my Nexus 6P, um, previous Google's account, right? Okay. So uh, you've all seen this, and I can't believe that Google just doesn't seem to care that this is in here, that you can get in here and do the exact same method we've been doing for freaking forever and get into this phone. And it just, it, it's like they just don't care. Maybe they're just waiting for, you know, Android N to come out and implement some new methods in there. I, I don't know. I really don't know. But I'm just showing you that it is functional here on this device. So you can see I'm into settings already. There's that build number. Here's the June 1st security update right there. And um, so I'm just going to finish through some of this process. Just so you guys know, this is on my, uh, what is this? This is the HTC 10 4K video right now. So that's pretty cool. Um, and we're just going to do some fun stuff. So we'll go to Chrome. We'll go to my website. And uh, just kind of maneuver around a little bit in here. Go download an app application or two, if I can get to them. If you go to apps, and then you click on my folder FRP, which is where I'm putting all this stuff now. It's a good place to keep it all. And then just download the quick shortcut maker. And go ahead and make sure it's installed. Now, you can't install it from here, but if we go back just a couple windows, I think you're going to be able to see what we're going to do. It's pretty simple to install it. Um, so we'll go back in here and we'll go into download right there. And then I, I've downloaded it twice. So it's blocked. So you got to turn on unknown sources. Hit OK. Go back. Tap it again. Install. And then accept. Basically open the quick shortcut maker and type in you've seen this it's just not been patched it's kind of hilarious that it still functions with the same stuff so you click on the e type email and password you try you come up here you sign in and you put in an email and a password and you'll have a synced account to the device i'm going to do that really quick off camera so, anyway, I don't know what you guys think about all this, but uh, it's really kind of messed up. Um, but this is kind of what it is, I guess, at this point. So, all right, so I'm syncing my account, and then you saw right there it kind of wiped out. Um, so, from here, we really just go back, 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 and we can actually just reboot the device. We can power it off. And then what will happen is we'll boot back up. And, and once we boot back up, we should be able to go through the initial process, but it'll say there's already an account added, and it'll just let you skip, 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 and you'll go right through the process um, of setup, and you should be good to go because you should have a synced Google account at this point. Um, yeah, simple, right? So, anyway, I don't know, like I said, I, I kind of wonder if Google just gave up for uh, Marshmallow, and they're like, we'll just fix FRP on Android N, or maybe they'll do the thing they should have done all along, which is, here, I'm going to cover things up so you guys don't see my email, if I can. It's connecting, and I'm trying to avoid that. But I really think what they need to do, it says there's an account added, is what it's saying, so I'm just going to say next. Um, what they really need to do is they really need to have, I'm okay with FRP, I really am. The, the thing that they need to do though is they need to make sure that everybody is like super, super warned that it's on their device. So they know that if they forget their password or, and they don't write it down somewhere, they forget it, something goes south, they're screwed out of their phone, it ain't going to work. Um, so that's just the really critical thing for me is you got to make sure that you know that. And Google needs to have... Like insane warnings. It should not be turned on by default. It should be an option. And if it's turned on, there should be a lot of warnings to make sure people read through that are very, very clear, bold on the screen. Like just blah, look at this. Do not do this unless you are aware that if you don't have your password, you can't get back in. Or if you forget your Gmail account or whatever. It should not be a default setting. Hey, it's taking
taking forever. I only got a minute left here. It doesn't do it, you're gonna miss it. This uh, thing only does six minutes of H, uh, 4K video on here on, the, on this device. But it should just run through the setup just like normal right now. It just might take a bit. Come on. Anyway, I don't know about you guys, but uh, FRP is very fun to hack and bypass. And just wanted to show you that you can do it this easily here on June 1st update on the Nessus 6P. I'm sure you can do it on other devices. And actually on Android and Developer Preview 4, I just did it on my uh, Nexus 6 and that one was really fun. So, come on. Sometimes I feel like I need to go back and then go back and let's try it. I don't know. It's taking forever. All right, toodaloo. It works.